Hey YouTube, it's Petey Two Finger, and how the heck are ya? I'm doing, eh, I've had some health issues and uh, just kind of the usual depression that this time of year brings when it's uh, after Christmas before the sun comes back. Here in Chicago, it's just kind of gray and cold. And this is the worst time of the year for me. Uh, and it's the anniversary of a acute anxiety attack that lasted almost a quarter of a year. That happened in 2016. After that, I suffer chronic lethargy where, like, I can't keep my eyes open. And it's been really aggressive this past couple of weeks um, so I yeah I haven't been well uh, that marks my absence around here there was some drama um, typically I need that time like after the 10th of January I start recording and someone who had ghosted me for a very long time showed up with a bunch of drama right at that period of time and I rushed and finished my music work and then that person is gone and they're no longer any contact or communication with me. So yeah, I gotta, that makes me think like, wow, that person really disrespected you, which it's kind of like, that's the story of my life is like I was in a social situation today where one of the people that sits at the top of that, I was friends with that person and they were uh, taking shots at me often on social media, uh, just kind of just taking shots at me a lot. And um, finally, I put my foot down. And then that person blew up and was like, I'm never going to be friends with you again. Oh, I'm going to hold a grudge. And that person's at the top of this social group. But I still go around. So it's it's just, that's my life. That's just the story of my life. You know, Petey's thin skin. So, yeah, uh, I'm here uh, not just to complain about what's been going on, about this rough patch I've been going through. Uh, I wanted to recommend something that I watched today, which is, is this up on the screen? Yeah, it is. This YouTube channel is called Stolen History, Lifting the Veil of Deception. There's three little movies, a 15 minute, hour and 20, and a two hour and 10. So, Lifting the Veil of Deception, Stolen History. That's the name of the uh, page. If you know what Tartaria or the theory of the mud flood or star forts, this all kind of falls into the same thing. It's all very interesting stuff. You know, before previously, going back in time, YouTube was a hotbed for conspiracy theory stuff. I'm sure COINTELPRO uh, or whoever really had a lot of people involved in that and like 2012 stuff flat earth and then they kind of closed the floodgates like you weren't really allowed to talk about that stuff on youtube anymore and then what happened after that was this uh mud flood in tartaria guys like john levi uh, the russian guy forget his name doing this research and it's all really fascinating stuff it's not so much ct as it is taking a look at historical examples or specific photographs and footages and historical documents and seeing how the people who were won, the people that had the most money, that means they won the war, they won the election at that time, maybe it was the church or whatever branch of this cabal, uh, rewrites history. Like one example, they dealt, when they dug out Pompeii, there was no instance of a church for Catholic, and there, sh there should have been. So what does this tell us? 
Anyway, uh, check out that 15-minute thing and an hour and 10 and then the two-hour and 10-minute one. Uh, very interesting stuff. Again, don't label me as a CT guy, conspiracy theorist, tinfoil hat. I'm recommending this as entertainment, not, not to inform yourself about uh, the real history of the of the world but it's very interesting and entertaining stuff so you could check that out if you like you're looking for something fresh and interesting it's not very old it's pretty new stuff it's pretty new theories and there's a lot of people doing some interesting work on this topic so i hope you'll find that entertaining and if you have any good vibes prayers whatever send them my way i got this health thing going on i'm this chronic lethargy that's got this pain and pain and chronic pain and uh it's just been a rough time for me so i appreciate anything you can give me uh you don't have to go i hope you feel better in the comment section uh but if that's how you send good vibes if that's your thing then i welcome it and i hope that you're doing well and that soon the sun can come up. Maybe I can even get past these uh, health issues. I was always taught like there is no tomorrow. The Russians are coming. They're going to, you know, the communists are going to drop the nukes and we're all going to be in concentration camps because we have a Bible. All of this stuff that programmed me to feel like there is no tomorrow. And then you end up, you know, you're coming up on being 55 years old and there is a tomorrow, you know. So it's an interesting proposition. Um, I'm certainly not complaining. I'm thrilled to be alive and I want to be around. I want to be around to see my kids, my grandkids, and to be with my, I love my wife. I really do. And my cat. I want to be alive for that, that little guy too. He's my special friend. So hopefully I can do well with this and get get healthy again soon this will work its way out um, I've talked about this stuff to the doctors in the past and they just look at me so it's frustrating anyway stay warm on your pets and peace